Land tax has been banned or restricted in multiple formats over the years, and in this video I'll explain why. This enchantment costs one white mana, and during your upkeep, if your opponent has more land than you, you search your library for three basic lands and put them into your hand. It's almost a white ancestral recall every time you can make it trigger. Obviously you can only get lands, but the card advantage is very real either way. In addition to just being good in a vacuum, land tax has combined in impressive fashion with many cards over the years. It was really great alongside Armageddon because you could use the tax to search up your lands, which in turn would allow you to easily rebuild your board in the aftermath. It also works quite well with Balance for the same reason. It also is excellent alongside Ivory Tower or Zurin Orb. Each of these lets you gain life off of all those extra lands. Ivory Tower because it gains you life when you have a lot of cards in your hand, and Zurin Orb because you can sacrifice lands to gain life. All of this made Control Decks a little too good in both Standard and Legacy, so it got restricted in Standard in 1996 and banned in Legacy. Two years later, it also got banned and extended. In short, the card advantage land tax grants was just too good, and there were a plethora of ways to take advantage of all those lands.